Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how can you get answers from your PDF using Azure OpenAI. And here we will be using Python as a programming language and LangChain as a supporting framework. So let's get started. The very first thing I want to show you is the sample PDF. So this is the PDF which I am going to read today. It is not having lot much of text, but definitely the same solution would work for small as well as long PDFs. So I'm going to switch to my VS code and these are the few things which you need to declare first. So here we need API type which, which should be Azure because we are going with Azure OpenAI. Then we need to define, mention the API version. This is the URL which I have grabbed it from the Azure portal after creating the instance. And then this is the key of the same instance. This is the deployment name which I have given in my Azure OpenAI Studio and then I'm setting all these two as an environment variable. So if you're not sure when from where am I picking these, I would recommend you to watch out my previous video which is right here. So how to consume Azure OpenAI model. In this I have explained every single parameter which you need to grab it from the Azure. Okay, so once this is done, next thing is we need to import some of the packages and the very first package is to load our unstructured file which is nothing but the PDF. So for that let's go ahead and say from LangChain we need to use document loaders and we'll say import unstructured file loader. So unstructured file loader. Once this is done we are good to go ahead and read our PDF using this unstructured file loader class which will take the name of your file, the path of your file. So in my case, it is sitting in the same directory. So I need not to define the complete path as well as the relative path in the form of slashes. So this is one thing. And then I'm saying documents equal to loader.load. .load. So it will go ahead and load the document for me. If you want, we can go ahead and <clears throat> print this out. So you can see this is the content of the page and at the end you would see the meta source which is nothing but your file name. Okay, so once we are done till here, next thing is we need to chunk our document. So our document could be small or large depending on the scenario we may have to go ahead and break it into multiple smaller documents. So for that we are going to use character text splitter which is again an offering from LangChain. So let's go ahead and import those packages here. So I would say from LangChain dot text splitter import character text splitter and the same character text splitter with we are going to use here and it will take two parameters first is the chunk size you can define chunk size as per your requirements. I'm just going with 800 and I do not want any overlap here. So I would say overlap, chunk overlap equal to zero. Then we need to split our documents. So for that, let's go ahead and create a variable name text and we will be utilizing text splitter dot split document. And inside this, we need to pass this particular variable which is nothing but the document and it is holding all the documents okay let me go ahead and verify this if everything is right okay so we are getting the text and looks like everything is good till here <clears throat> Next thing is we need to work on the embeddings, vectorization as well as we need to construct a chain which will be used to query our document. So for that we'll say, let me copy this. From embeddings, we need to grab OpenAI embeddings. Then we need something for vector store. So we'll say from dot vector stores import chroma everything we are doing in memory here so we can go with chroma or face or whatever you want 
Then we need retrieval QA. Chains import retrieval QA. And the last one is uh, LLM. So we'll say from langchain dot LLM s import Azure OpenAI. Okay, so we are done with all our imports. Let's go ahead and construct generate the embeddings first. So we'll use OpenAI embeddings, and let's go with the default model which is used for embedding and then we'll create another variable doc search which will associate this embedding with the text which we read from our pdf so we'll say uh, chroma dot from documents and inside this first of all we will pass text then we will say embeddings which we just generated above Okay, next we will go ahead and construct the chain using retrieval QA dot from chain type. Here we need to define and mention which LLM we are using. So we will say LLM equals Azure Open AI and inside this we need to pass in some parameters. The first, the parameter which we need to pass is model underscore KW arcs and here you need to define the engine. So in my case, I'm using DaVinci 002. So I'm going to mention the same thing here. Let me quickly type this because this is a kind of bit complex syntax here. Text hyphen DaVinci 002. Okay. And then we need to define. <clears throat> uh, we need to set the chain type so we'll say chain type equal to stuff and then we'll say retriever retriever equal to doc search dot as retriever okay so so the doc search is nothing but the object which was generated out of the chroma and it consists of embeddings of our text mapping of our embedding with uh, mapping of our text with embeddings okay so let me quickly execute this and see that we are good okay let me go ahead and quickly provide some query here and I would say what are the effects of homelessness question mark and then we'll say chain dot run and inside this we will be passing the query which we just constructed above and you can see that we got a response the effect of effects of homelessness vary and are felt differently among the homeless communities and business communities. Effects of being homeless are personal, health, abuse, familial and societal. So these are the like few lines I would say, few sentences which are constructed of, out of a document. So whatever the question you are giving, you will get the response from your own document. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you were able to integrate Langchain with Azure Open AI in order to get answers from your PDA. If you really enjoyed watching this, then make sure to give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are watching this for the very first time. Thanks for watching.